Hi folks and welcome to Attica Armory. Being that we are primarily a gun channel, we usually tend to focus on things that keep you safe and secure in the physical world. However, with so many of us being required to telework from home, we shouldn't ignore the need to secure our virtual lives as well. This past week, the U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, otherwise known as CISA, issued a stark warning about a large increase in bad actors exploiting the COVID-19 situation. Since the average home network tends to be less secure than professionally managed enterprise networks, this poses a substantial risk to you and to your employer. Since I spent a good portion of my past life in IT security, I wanted to share some tips and tricks with you on making your home network more secure. These are just a few of the many steps we take to keep our customer information safe. Now, if you enjoy our content, please remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and visit us at adagaarmory.com to find out more about our revolutionary product and how it works. Now, let's get to it. So we're gonna be using a Netgear AC1900. It's a cable modem slash router. You don't have to specifically use this particular product to do these things, but this is a product that has all of these security features that we're talking about today built into it. So um, we're gonna be using the Netgear Genie interface. Your router specific interface will probably have something similar to this. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do Go ahead and change your admin password. Type in the default password and set a new strong password. You want this password to be at least you know 20 to 22 characters. Uh, you want uppercase, lowercase. You want special characters and numbers. Um, and it also should be randomly generated and you should avoid using any dictionary words or anything that's a, kind of a, a repeatable pattern or anything easy to guess. The next step would be to update the uh, WEPA2 password and the SSID. When you're entering your SSID, just make sure that you're not using something that can identify you easily. Um, make sure and enable the SSID broadcast. Also make sure that under the security options, the WEPA2 is enabled. And then go ahead and put in a new passphrase. And uh, once again, make sure that it's a long, strong, complex password. Next, we want to go ahead and disable the WPS pin. WPS pins are generally very weak and very easy to hack. So you want to just disable the gateway pin entirely. Next, we're going to want to get rid of universal plug and play. When you introduce Wi-Fi and UPnP, uh, it's a recipe for disaster. So go ahead and turn off UPnP. Next, we're going to want to disable remote management. Go ahead and uncheck any boxes for remote management, unless that's a service that you specifically need. Next, disable any ping responses on the internet port. This way, if a hacker tries to ping us, we simply don't reply. We're going to want to turn on access controls and block all new devices from connecting. Basically what you want to do is first get all of your devices on the network and then turn this on afterwards so that you don't uh, block out legitimate devices. Then go ahead and get in here and check your list and make sure you're not seeing any rogue devices on your network. Next we're going to want to block services that we're not using. Uh, some services particularly remote access services, remote management services like Telnet are services that you're definitely gonna to wanna to knock out if you're not using them. It's a good idea to block port 32764. There's plenty of literature out there on that. Next, enable the guest network. Uh, the reason why we wanna enable the guest network is because it's a good idea to run most of your devices on that network, especially devices that might be particularly susceptible to, to being hacked. Um, also any outdated devices that you might still be using. I go ahead and enable the guest network, enable the SSID broadcast, enter an SSID that is not going to identify you. Also go ahead and make a strong password. Again, long, strong, complex. Once you've done all that work, you're going to want to back up a copy of your settings if your router allows you to. Run a backup and uh, save that file somewhere in a secure location. Last but not least, check your logs on a regular basis. So any logging features that are available in your modem or router 
or both are going to be useful tools to see if there's anybody probing your network, if your network's being used for uh, denial of service attacks, if there are rogue entities on your network, things of that nature. So make sure that you regularly check your network logs. Also, don't forget to use VPN as often as possible on all of your critical devices. It'll encrypt all of your web traffic and conceal your IP address. That alone will dramatically increase your security. And with that, we hope you enjoyed this video, and we hope it'll help you raise your cybersecurity posture at home. We would love to hear your thoughts and any additional suggestions in the comments below. And we'll see you again next time at Attica Armory.